All right, so today I'm continuing on with resources. Now, last time, resources were updated to the point where they all used a shared pool type, uh, where the, the only differences that were previously between all the different resource pools, being the resource type and the resource size, when the resources under them were created, have been parameterized to the pool itself. As well, if I... So all the different pools all gone so the one that was for image gone material gone mesh gone all the all these very specific ones have all been replaced with a generic type which you just create uh instead so instead of having like you know create shader pool and put that shader pool in instead you just have this you just create a generic pool with the differentiated bits being parameterized at the beginning and you pass that in and you get the stuff back out, which means all resource pools have a shared set of um, functions you can call on all of them. And it's like common across all. You don't need to have a bunch of different declarations for each resource pool type. Now that has a pro and a con still. The pro being that each resource pool is very specific to, let's say, a shader type with the size of the resource being that. Unfortunately, what's getting to the, the, the con of this whole arrangement is the fact that resources are supposed to be one-to-one -one with IDs, which means that through poor management, through poor coding, which I'm inevitably going to do, eventually I'm going to run into the case where I have... <clears throat> A resource ID being used by more than one type of resource. Like I'll have a ID of one in the shader pool and I'll have an ID of one in the vertex descriptor and I'm going to be having a little bit of a problem. I'm not... The mental model I have of this is not designed to handle that. And it shouldn't. I don't want that. I want to have the, a one-to-one -one relationship with it all. <clears throat> so, what I want to do is I want to replace all these individual resource pools with one. One pool that's tied to the simulation instead. And, if that's the case, to... Yeah, one... Really... Yeah, what, yeah, I'm going to have to have one for the entire simulation. And so you're not going to have individual, like, vertex descriptor or shader uh, resource pools. You'll just have one pool, and you're going to have to... Sh I'm going to have to change up, like, how I deal with this. Instead, this is going to have to be... The type and the size is going to have to be sp specified when you create the resource, when you request it. Instead. It both makes things easier and less easy. I mean, it's easier as in I don't have to specify resource pools on each plugin that has resources, but a bit less easy because, of course, like now I have to move around this and I have to know what resource type I'm creating at when I'm creating a resource. Hmm? Yeah, that do doesn't really make too much sense, does it? <clears throat> hmm. Okay. So, if I want to create one resource pool, I need to change this up to be... In simulation, I'm going to add a resource pool. So this is going away, and it's just going to be replaced with pro resource pool. We got that. I don't actually have a declaration for it, so let's add it here. We got that down in the simulation. Need to find the create right about here. So new sim state resource pool. Then I create resource pool. Uh, error code. I'll grab this from here.
great resource pool, so I need the resource functions. Let's see if I can grab one from here. It's the same thing, right? Yeah, it's pretty much internal. That's okay. Change that to that. that. This isn't specified here. Resource functions. Got that. Dot get. Got that. The pro if it's a global pool, these can't it can't be parameterized like this anymore. It's going to have to just be new sim state resource pool like that. If error code um, if there's another error code point. If not error code um, else, we need to run foe destroy simulation. I imagine, right? Maybe. Ah, <sighs> yeah. that because one of the last things is going to happen in here is need to destroy the this simulation Back to resource. I need to change this up. So these are going away. Uh, what's going to have to happen is these need to be shifted over to at the point where you add it, like that. Uh, find, remove, task callback, unload all. Okay. And I can't just unload all the resources of a particular type. Uh, on a per pool basis, but what I still want to do is I still want to uh, unload on a per type basis, so I'm going to do this instead. Okay, and then this goes away. Yeah, so got that. We can go to the pool side, or the source side. If a resource here type of the resource equals equals what? Hmm. Yeah, if it equals a resource type, then we uh, know it. Yeah, it should be that easy. Hmm. Suspiciously too. Oh, no. I want to also count how many actually i probably want to do the same thing here right no i can't because i don't know if it was loaded or not um, hmm. 
I want to count how many I'm unloading, but in order to do that, I need to know how many were loaded in the first place. <laughs> Let's return count out of this. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I don't actually know how to, I just have to like, <laughs> I don't know how to count this yet. Ugh. Okay, put this on the sideline for the moment. I'll come back to this. I'll come back to this very soon. In the meantime, however, these go away. These are getting ripped out of here. Back to that. Go down to here instead. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, this just becomes that. It becomes that. It's fine. We can't. We never could retrieve the type anyway, so. So that gets ripped out of that. Okay. Now we've got to go around and all the other problems that are going to crop up from changing that so much. So, <clears throat> this is now, yeah, now I have to actually put these things in here. So, oh, graphics resource material. I need to do something like that. Nah, not a material, it's a shader. For material, yes. What the? This is just wrong. I see the change. Yeah, I just didn't. Whoops. Well, it's a good thing I, I this I just never had images in place. Anyways, graphics resource image pool. Go to the image. Got that, yeah. So they're just gonna do that. So now we gotta do the vertex descriptor, same thing here. Graphics structure type shader. One, 
two, three, missing the top one. Right, and these are just going away, so I don't have to do this anymore. Right, these resource pools just not happening anymore. Shader resources, vertex descriptor. These are going great. Now, destroying the resource pool is no longer required. However, <clears throat> I still need to unload things before. Hmm. So what's happening in here is I'm going to have to do something along the lines of destroy item. <laughs> type. Ah, oh, we're back to this thing already. Resource pool, oh, graphics resource structure, mesh. We want to go through all the mesh types and do that. So, let's at least put this back up. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. What I need to do is. The idea, the idea is while this is greater than zero, while there are more than zero loaded ones, hmm, yeah, while that's the case, then I want to go through and I want to call, you know, uh, what will be like key mesh pool uh, loader maintenance something like this which would not work for this would it because this is mostly based on graphics so it needs to be on the hmm so it actually be part of this wouldn't it no, it would, so, okay. Mm -hmm. Resource pools, all gone. <clears throat> I don't have to worry about destruction here because it'll be automatically removed by the mesh pool, the mesh loader. Do I not have, I don't have, I don't, pass in um, the resource pool. Do I need to? I mean, if I want to have this automatically deinitialized when I deinitialize graphics, I'm going to have to. Won't I? Unless, is there any other way to do this? I don't really, I mean, there's mm, no. No, 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 no. Let's just do it this way. So what's going to happen is the mesh loader is going to be able to, it's going to be, when you initialize, you have that. That. So resource pool, resource pool, like that. That's great. <clears throat> We're gonna pass it down somewhere in here. Mm -hmm. 
So under the mesh loader. Unload all items loaded via this, so I need to go to resource pool unload type, which is end resource pool. that great while no no while this is greater than zero then I will go through graphics maintenance basically I'm just really trying to speed run hmm It would have to be immediate, right? Or no, I added it onto the unload. So it'll already be on this, so I just I just do this a whole bunch of times until it's done, right? Because it's in a tight loop, if I go through this And while um, M I don't know. Hmm. While to unload Uh, yeah, because I need I don't even if I clear out all the things that need to be unloaded, there may still be stuff like that's about to be loaded, or stuff that's in the load. That's stuff that's in the load queue. That's stuff that's still be unloaded, perhaps because you gotta wait for a delayed destruction, right? Is that do I have to worry about delayed destruction? Maybe I don't think so actually. I only have that on upload context. I already deal with delayed destruction locally, perhaps. Um, go down to unload resource. I already pull it out. And then I pass it on to the um, unload requests. And it's literally the next frame that it happens. Hmm. That's not going to fly at all. But it will fly for now. Unfortunately, I can't. I also can't exactly access these because they could be accessed by someone else at the same time. Do I do a do while loop? Maybe. <laughs> cool. Um. <clears throat> Why? 
waiting work. Wait, wait, work. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this. Future work. Upcoming work equals this greater than zero. Thanks. It doesn't matter what this is. Do that while upcoming work is greater than is well that's true okay just do it while it's true and we do graphics maintenance locally and then we run because this needs to be done before I you know remove the uh, graphics context that I can work on so Do I don't have, maybe I have a, um, no, oh, here's the, the uh, data to destroy lists, okay. Um, or equals, I don't know. Requests not empty. Not work not equal or equal not. Um, <clears throat> I have to go think through all of them, don't I? Data destroy lists. while I'm waiting to just clear out everything. While that, while any of these are true, repeat. Unload all resources to this loader loaded. Okay, something like that. And because it's internal to these, I don't actually have to do anything fancy work in, this, in the registration area anymore related to specifically resource pools. Just when, it, when it's dying, it knows when it's dying. It knows how to unload its own stuff. Okay, what else we got going on down here? Mm -hmm. Okay. the global pool great so that's one now I need to do it for the others Yeah, I also need to, on the initializing of this, like 
that. Okay. So image loader. The other way, it's the other way. It goes that, then we gotta go do the initialized graphics. So, similar deal to the mesh loader right here. Load all stuff that this guy loaded. So I don't have that here, do I? I don't I don't actually have Okay. It's named differently. I'm probably going to have to put these like sync these later. Should shouldn't I? Yeah, yeah, I should. Okay. I need to wait, I need to lock it. Unload sync dot lock. Like that. Okay, we do that and we change up. Okay, that's named differently too. But should yeah. Okay, material. Oh, I already had it because of that. Okay. that this resource pool equals that and we got a problem oh that's not even being checked here is it mesh loader um, that like a mesh image loader okay we go all the way down here yeah, M resource pool, that, that, it's easy, that and that. Yeah. Then on the 
deinitialize. We gotta go through this stuff. Wait, hold on. This is gotta make sure it's the right type. Material. Pass this over here. So what do we got got it called here? M load sync. No? Okay, M load requests. Okay. M load sync. This doesn't even have that. I don't know why. Is this just not needed? Because the only time this is being used, this is being touched, is here. To destroy, right? You do the unload. Oh, no, no, no. Because you can do... Hmm. This is still phone material data. So this the, this needs to be synchronized. Why is this not synchronized? How did I miss this? Um, I still need this here. Evidently, I need to go through and uh, double check. I've got everything else going on here as well. Image loader, go all the way down here. Why is that different from here? Oh, no, no, it's not. Uh, I still need the P-loader stuff, though. Like that. Double check it on mesh. Yeah, okay. I was just missing from here for some reason. Quite there. And this is correct, right? Yeah, that's correct. And this is correct. Okay, I just didn't have it there for material for some reason and probably something else. Okay, we've got this, we've got the deinitialize working correctly, except for, wait, is the material a mesh? It's material, yeah. I'm not entirely sure on that. I may want to move this somewhere else. I just don't know. Possibly. Ah. Come back to it later. So material, image, mesh, 
indicator. down to the shader loader. Destroy sync, that's great. Initialized. Deinitial okay, here we go. Then I wanna do this. Load requests. The same otherwise, except for that. All right, next. Vertex descriptor. I already have that. Change that up. have anything to do but I'm not exactly going to destroy it hmm curious I don't actually have a dis delayed destroy Draw on this one very deliberately too. Okay. Initialize, initialize, deinitialize. I don't actually have any physics things to go along here, do I? So it would have to be under a deinitialize, wouldn't it? Graphics maintenance? Yes, I do. This, I feel like, is wrong. It should be located elsewhere. It really should be under the graphics deinitialize because it is a combination of other resources beneath it. So this should be technically unloaded at the s before I unload the things that it's using, the shaders underneath it. This should really be 
somewhere like that instead. It really should be. Okay, so that's these. I need to do physics. Turn for or missing collision. New error code. One, two. No. Deinitialize. Of course, we need to go through all the objects to unload and to load. shape we don't have this type all right down to registration no longer have this resource is gone Down here, somewhere this is taking that in. Actually, that means this should be breaking, yeah, a couple other locations. So this P loader is still correct. We're looking for P simulation. things they're just gone
back down the collision shape. Uh, the other only other one will be down in the source, the main application. It's going to be the armature stuff. So loader here. that in we got it here are all the way down here. <clears throat> correctly on physics I don't think so maintenance deinitialize all right back down to here Back down to armature. We got that. Now we want to do deinitialize. So that's external. And finally, unload all the resources it was it bought in. Type of resource we've got maintenance. We don't have this anymore. We don't have a the destroy delay because it's not a graphics racing for this thing, right? I think so, yeah. Down to registration means this is gone, which means that this is gone, which means like there's a lot of code just getting removed out of this, which I like. I like it a lot. A lot less that can go wrong with a lot less code. To my mind, now this is, yeah. that okay it's a whole bunch of locations first try though no. something is wrong oh right
Right. That'll work, right? Yeah. So I need to just basically do this a couple more times. Smash this material. What the hell was this then? Image. Not vertex component. Descriptor. Okay, so that'll be the same thing for physics somewhere. Or armature first, actually. Now we come back to this, which I skipped out on earlier. So I need to find this pool. Okay. So I'm going to be a bit heavy handed on this. If that, all right. And either or of these things. Uh, oh, is loading. If it's either of those cases, then I'll just want to do the same thing. Just unload it, even if it's... <sighs> that. Yeah. Or being loaded. Okay. Now I'm fully expecting this to fail horribly first try. Perfect. It failed horribly. 
So we had an error around here. Acquired exclusive lock for destruction. Created destruction. Hmm. So created one thing and then died. Well, let's find it. It's here or here. So that's not on the test side for sure. Let's close it all up. Go here. So some point after this, it decided to kick itself back out. Okay, it basically died on the first one of these. Right, because the material pool no longer exists. It's just... that, which I don't actually have in here. Okay, let's just, was that the thing I was... Pretty much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Basically means I no longer have to pass simulation around to these things. I could just pass uh, resource pool and that's it. So we've got those for the import registration for these. It means I should be able to do the same thing for physics. Right around up here. Well, that's a lot better. <sighs> okay. Image loader not initialized, really. Why are we skipping that? What? So we're here for some, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Shape, um, 
Like, no, that doesn't actually make sense. Resource pool. Okay, that, that does make sense. That should not be that. That should be... change that up That this is going to be nullified at the end. It's not being used as that. One of, oh, almost. <sighs> and the resource pool that. Source pool that. So now it's just going to go straight to the graphics one instead. Perfect. I mean, not really perfect, but you know. Fail to initialize. This why what's your ah. you know what I just gotta get rid of these this 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 type this, this function's just gotta go any of the ones to deal with getting resource pools they're just gone release insert resource pool okay these are all just very generic aren't they yeah they are but the this resource pools should go away Move that around a little bit. Get resource pools gone. Release resource pool is gone. Insert resource pool is gone. Moving on up to here. Searching through that is gone. Searching through that is gone. <laughs> it just keeps going. So much. I'm still kind of happy that I can actually do a lot of uh, work on this. Still, okay. Oh my god, I'm gooey. All right. All right. I'm gonna grab a quick drink, BRB. All right. So, uh, yeah, these are going away. So that's, this is just all gone. Blam. Blam.
those are all moved to the left. Uh, this is becoming what? Do I have a simulation simulation? Yes, I do. So copy that, paste. Okay, this doesn't actually make any sense. I just need to call it once at the very top. That, that. Because if they're all in the same pool now, I can do that. If that didn't just return early. Otherwise, it just comes down to these. That. Okay. Next. Mm -hmm. that. Great. Again, if I don't, if all I need is a resource pool from now on, then I can very easily just hmm. Hmm. this is going to be a bit different, isn't it? Hmm. Anyways. Yeah, that's gone. Continue. Oh, sorry, not continue. Return. This is otherwise the same. Yes. Next. Okay, so this is just down to these simulations and I just need to set that like that once. All the rest of these are gone. Great. We are going through with you. Okay, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. If the new unloading is going to work correctly. Great question. Self.
Okay. Yeah, these are all gone now. So, what do I need? Just that. That, that, and that, and that. Resource pool. And we got these two down here. I'm sorry, what is this? Animation? Animation. Okay. Not sure why that didn't quite come up earlier, but wait, hold on a second. I just kind of Pretty sure I had uh, this inverted the wrong way in all the other locations. Maybe. Or. If it equals up armature type, I gotta re change up. I gotta fix up the types um, enums again as well, don't I? So that should have. Definitely broken this, right? Or did I just not have this type done yet? Uh, maybe I didn't, I guess. Okay. Oh, now it's simulation. What the hell am I? Here we go. If it equals that. I gotta go down here, all the way up here. No, I'm gooey here, here, and here. There we go. Export registration if. Yeah, no.
shader and finally vertex descriptor Oh, I did do, did I not do VK animation yet? Way down here, you, yeah. I'm not checking if they're the right type yet. Nor am I loading them when I should be, am I? Why not? Oh, no, 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 no. That's right. I don't know. That's not right. That can't be right. I must still have um, part of the importer still automatically loading in all types, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah, okay. So what have we got for uh, leaks? <laughs> You're joking, right? There's got to be a leak somewhere other than the stuff from DOS libraries. Like there's something I'm responsible for, right? No? Feels very wrong. But okay. I got more than enough changes here. Uh, is there anything else I can remove from simulation from this? Oh, 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 there was that type. This, this is gone. Don't need that. That also means I don't need the underscore pool types anymore, correct? So, uh, image pool gone, material pool gone, mesh pool gone, shader pool gone, vertex descriptor pool gone, great. Moving on down to physics, pool is gone, down to here, the armature pool is gone, great. Okay, I guess that's basically going to be it for tonight. I basically merged all the mostly common resource pools into one large resource pool and managed to keep everything working after it. Now, I still got to do some stuff dealing with adding, like especially if you try to add it as a wrong type, I got to figure out how to fix that. But that's after, and I got that right, yeah. Everything is loaded in asynchronously, right? If this is gone as well. That's 
looks very nice as well, but everything is, yeah. Okay, let me just double check. Let's add check. A loader doing a load call, right? You, where are you coming up from? Right, I chose the one graphics type I don't actually uh, uh, load right now. Because of course. You were brought in via standard thread. Perfect. So it's asynchronous, it's not leaking memory. It's all one giant pool. So yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that for tonight. I'll just write up a fucking uh, commit message and I'll call it a night there. So until next time, cheers.